Well, welcome everyone to yoga and hopefully everyone's having a lovely day and looking forward to the weekend. It's going to be Thanksgiving. So today we are, well, we're always grateful, aren't we? We always do our gratitude basket this week. Everybody else is. So let's take one moment, put one hand on our heart and one hand on our belly. Just notice how you're feeling. Just come to, you know, just forget about the rushing that you were doing beforehand, rushing around today. Just sit quietly and notice your breath, scan your body. Really slow down, calm down. Hopefully everything will work today. There we are. Here's our picture that we see every week. Just take a moment just to notice how you're feeling. And just say, oh, this is how I feel today. That's okay. And here's our barometer of how am I feeling. So hopefully everybody's green. Calm. Or excited. In a good way. Focused and happy. And hopefully everybody's feeling this way. So just enjoy this feeling and share it with others. But if you're feeling a little blue, so maybe a little sick, tired, hurt or sad, just make sure you get some rest. And do something you enjoy. Or maybe drink. Maybe tell somebody you know how you're feeling. Well, it is October. And I'm all ready for it this week so we've got october here and down here we've got the word blessings because we've got gratitude for all our blessings our gifts our blessings so be present let the day flow with grace expect joy be positive serve with compassion speak only kindness impart only love never forget you're not alone give thanks for everyone for everything see goodness in others and because it's thanksgiving we have the pumpkins and we're just going to say be thankful and so our october challenge which i have sent you now it's about meditating and it's about meditating and they're asking you to go outside to meditate instead of sitting comfortably on your cushion in a quiet spot in your house they're saying maybe you could go outside now they're all they've given you four little people like people sitting in easy pose so you only they're only asking you to do it four times but they do say bonus so you could do it more if you do it more that's great and so what I suggest is you can go outside you can sit outside but if you can't sit outside you can walk outside and meditate of course but the other thing is you could Look out the window, right? You could look out the window and see what's going on outside and meditate that way. Or you could just sit where you always sit and maybe close your eyes and just imagine. Just imagine you're outside. So this picture I sent to you as your autumn is here. And so that was the picture and on the other side there was 
it actually says pretend to be lying outside on a cool autumn day so you could do this as one of your outside meditations the squirrels are busy so this is you imagining right so imagine you're outside and there's the a picture of the outside with the autumn colors on the le on the trees so pretend to be lying outside on a cool autumn day and the squirrels are busy collecting nuts for the winter birds chirp and the leaves on the trees rustle you pick one colorful leaf at a time and watch it floatly gen float gently to the ground the puffy clouds create different shapes as they slowly cross the blue sky the cool breeze blows across your face your body and thoughts slow down so that's perfect that's your imaginary meditation outside no well, you're imagining you're outside but you're still doing the meditation right so that's what i said to you well, that would be perfect wouldn't it so meditation it's kind of taking time to make your soul happy you're just slowing down thinking positive things positive thoughts and when you do that you make your soul happy as i said you can walk meditate and because it's thanksgiving if you walk you could walk and say i'm grateful for and just think of all the things you're grateful for so when you're walking along that's another way of doing a meditation is walking and thinking positive thoughts and because it's thanksgiving we're going to think i'm grateful for and then you could just think of all those things you're grateful for as you walk so now we'll do our meditation that we do. Oh my gosh, lots of meditations, right? And I bet you can guess which one. Oh, not that one. This one, here we are. Just sit still, and breathe, deep breaths in and out. And another imagination, imagine a sunny day and you're sitting under a tree next to a stream. The water is clear and sparkles in the sun. You can hear the water as it flows past you. All is calm. The leaves fall to the ground, some fall on the grass, some fall on you, some fall in the stream. They float on the water and the stream takes them away. Imagine any worries that you have, you could put on a leaf and it floats away. Imagine anything that is causing you stress you can put on a leaf and it floats away. So just sit, maybe think of water or you can watch the stream, the video of the stream, and just watching the water as it trickles over the stones and you hear the soothing sound of the water. Just enjoy this peace as you sit. Watch as another leaf floats downstream. Another worry gone. And if you find another thought that is bothering you, put it on a leaf and let it float away. Let your mind be quiet and still. Maybe later, maybe tomorrow, or the next day, maybe you will have more thoughts or worries. Remember, you can always let them float away on a leaf. And watch as the stream takes the leaves away out of sight. It 
enjoy the peace as you sit by the water. Enjoy the stillness as you sit under the tree. Watching the water flowing gently by you. And as you watch the water floating by, you know you can let go of the thoughts that bring you stress, let go of the thoughts that make you angry, those feelings that make you feel sad or uncomfortable. You can place these thoughts on a leaf and let them float away. By letting go of these thoughts, you become peaceful. Your mind is quiet. Your mind is still. You can come to this place when you want to find stillness and peace. You can let your thoughts float away. Notice your breathing in and out, in and out. Well, we had to leave the tree and the river and the stream. But this is just a reminder, be like a tree, stay grounded, keep growing and know when to let go. Good advice. And here we go. Every week we say let go, don't we? <laughs> Every week we say let go, be patient. And accept. And of course, gratitude. This week end is the big weekend that we think about this gratitude. We call it Thanksgiving. We are all thankful for what we have. It's no matter what you call it, the feeling is the same, right? So, Jennifer. I have one little stone for you. Just take a moment. And then don't put your stone. My empty basket. It's not empty anymore. Claire. And go with your stone. And Megan. In goes your stone. And Kathy. And in goes Kathy stone. So now my basket is not empty. And I'm sure this weekend you will be doing lots of thinking about Thanksgiving, thankfulness, gratitude. And all those lovely things. But of course, we know we think about that every week when we do our yoga. That's what yoga is all about. Letting go, being patient, acceptance and gratitude. So each day, give yourself a little time out to sit quietly and be thankful for all you have. So not just this weekend, we do it all the time, don't we? So, our story, you might think to yourself, oops, no, where am I? Mm 
So, okay. Nope, I've lost it. There we are. Back to that. Okay, so can you see that? Can you see the about the story? No. Oh. Ah, there we are. Ah, here we are. Can you see it now? Okay, you have to tell me because I haven't got my um can you see the story? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. Because I've lost my... Uh... All right, here we are. So what I was going to say was this it seems like a funny, a funny story to read, or not the one you think, because it's about breath, right? But it actually says a guided meditation for kids. So although we are taught, it says big breath, we're actually going to be doing a guided meditation. Because remember, when you meditate, you kind of need your, um, your breath to calm you down. So you need to find a comfy spot, maybe on a squishy cushion or a soft blanket. Just let your arms be long and your hands be soft. Place one palm in the other and gently squeeze your hands together and take a big breath and close your eyes. Can you hear your breath? Can you feel your breath? What does it sound like? Does it sound like the ocean and remind you of the waves? Does it feel like the wind before a big storm or the breeze at the start of spring? As you take your next breath, begin to notice the sounds around you. Can you hear the cars passing outside? Can you hear the cars passing outside your window? Can you hear the burr of a laundry machine or the hum of a motor? And what about the thoughts in your head? Do they make sounds? Do they have names? Are some of your thoughts big? Are some of your thoughts small? See if you can imagine what they look like. See if you can print can picture them moving across your mind. And now take a big breath and pretend you can let go of each of these thoughts. Imagine your breath is the wind and your thoughts are the clouds. Whoosh! Follow your breath down into your arms. Feel the breath flow into your hands. Maybe all the way down to the tips of your fingers. That's a long way from your nose. Take another big, slow breath of air. This time, let it fill your lungs like two big balloons at a party. And imagine your heart as a beautiful present sitting between these two balloons. Imagine yourself unwrapping the present. Imagine the smiles around you, the laughter, your excitement. What do you find inside? A word, a memory, a friendship? 
Let that feeling of surprise fill your whole body. Now, when you are ready, but only when you are ready, take another big breath. And this time, follow it down your spine, through your legs, and down to the tips of your toes. Can you remember all the places you have been today? Imagine all the invisible footprints that you have left behind. Then take another big breath and let them all go, like footprints washed away by the waves. Let go of the day, let go of the coulds, the woulds and the shoulds, the goods and the bads. And for a moment, just breathe. Breathe in the blue sky of your mind. Breathe in the light of your heart. Breathe in the tingling of your toes and the warmth in your hands. Breathe in all you are and all you will be. Breathe in, ev in everywhere you've been and everywhere you'll go. And when you are ready, but only when you are ready, take one last breath. and open your eyes. How do you feel on the inside? How do you feel on the outside? Do you feel lighter, more relaxed, maybe a little calmer? May you carry this feeling with you through your day and your dreams. And may you share it with everyone you meet. There, so now just take a moment, put one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, or two hands on your heart, whatever feels good for you. Just take a moment to notice how you're feeling now. Keep taking those lovely deep breaths, in and out. I'm going to get settled on my cushion. There. And I'm just going to sit for a second. Just get myself all nice, tall spine, soft shoulders. And just enjoying the slow breathing, relaxing my diet, my legs, my shoulders, my tongue. My jaw, putting a little smile on my face, taking away the frown. And we're going to start, let's all start doing our cat and cow. Nice and slow. Just move slowly to start with. Remember, we're just warming up, so nice and slowly. And then we can do our side bends just nice and slow, very slowly. Very nice, feel that stretch all along the side body there. Breathing into the lungs. And then we can go back to our cat and cow. And just sit really tall, relax the shoulders, lift those arms up, really, really, really reach. And then just drop the hands, one hand on the shoulder, one hand behind, looking behind, over your shoulder, doing our little twists, then up and over again. Big breath, 
and up and over. Nice big breath. And then lifting those arms up high, reaching up, reaching up, and then letting the arms come down slowly as you take a long breath out. So really long, if you're still breathing out. And back to your cat and cow. Remember when you take a long breath out, that calms you down. So just go back to the cat and cow. And sit up nice and tall. Bring those feet together. Feet are together. And just let your knees fall down. So you're kind of like a butterfly resting with his wings open. You can just put your arms nice and gentle somewhere so you're not stretching. Not straighten your shoulders, just re relax. And open up the, sh the hips. And bring the knees together, stretching those legs in front, giving those legs a little shake, shake, shake. And then carefully getting off whatever you're sitting on. Moving out, feet out the way. I'm just going to move the camera a bit more. Hopefully it doesn't fall. So that's happened before, hasn't it? All right. Now we're on our hands and knees in our tabletop position. So hands under the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, knees under the hips. Take a moment just to get the strength in your arms. And you can just put the hips down and then reach those hands out in front. So your arms are really, really reaching. Arms are straight till you're reaching, your knees are together. Hips go down. And then we're going to do our walking forward and then walking back. Just walk forward. And back. And of course, you keep breathing. Keeping that smile on your face. And we're staying here like this. We're getting our arms nice and strong. Then we we'll just go back and stretch the arms, stretching the back. Keep going backwards and forwards, stretching. Stretching and then reaching forward. For a plank. And then just pushing back. Reaching forward. And then back. And we'll just take a moment here to have a little rest. And then get yourself all ready to do a downward facing dog. So get those hands on the mat. Remember, I like to put my hands on blocks to do this. So I've got my hands on blocks, but you can have your hands on the mat. Curl the toes under. Push yourself up. So straight legs, straight arms, heads down, hips are up. Like downward facing dog. Just walk forward, touching the mat. Knees can have a little bend. So we're in a forward fold. And then just bring those arms up and hands to heart center. There we are. So we're standing nice and tall. Just make sure your feet are planted on the ground. So lift the toes, wiggle the toes and put them back down on the mat. Make sure you're standing on every part of your foot. And then lift those arms up. Bring the arms down, hinge at the hips. Touch the mat and touch your knees. Touch the mat and bring those arms up. Hands to heart center. And again, up, touching the mat, 
touching the knees, touching the mat, and bringing your hands up, hands to heart center. And up, touch your mat, touch your knees, touch the mat, and bring those arms up, hands to heart center. And again, up, pinch at the hips, touch the mat, touch your knees, touch the mat, bring those arms up, and hands to heart center. One more, up, pinch at the hips, touch the mat, touch your knees, touch your mat. Lift those hands up high and bring your hands to heart center. Great job. Now I'm going to move this just a little bit. And then we're going to put the right foot forward and the left foot back. I'm going to make sure those toes face the short end of the mat and the back toes face the long end of the mat. Make sure you've got a nice wide stance. Push into the mat, into the mat with your feet. Push into the feet. Then get your legs nice and strong. And you can put your hands on your hips just to bring your shoulders back. And then you can lift into a warrior two. Nice strong arms, strong legs. And then we can have a little rest. And bring that arm up and over. Reach, reach, reach. And then back into a warrior two. And back hand goes down, front hand comes up. Looking up and reaching up. And then back to a warrior two. Then your hands can come down. And then your toes face the same way. And now we hinge at the hips and touch the mat. So we've got a wide legged forward fold. And then we're going to walk our hands past our foot. So we bend one leg, stretch one leg. We go the other way. So the knee bends, and stretch the leg. Walk your hands back again, bend the knee. Stretch that leg that's left behind. Go the other way. Bend the knee. Stretch that leg. Come to the center. Bring your tips to the mat. Just letting go of all the tension in your hips, your lower back. Slowly coming up. Slowly, slowly, slowly into a star. And we're going to go the other way. So you don't have to move those feet. Just turn the feet so the toes face the short end of the mat. The back foot, the right foot, toes are pointing to the long end of the mat. Get yourself nicely grounded into the mat. Those feet, push those feet into the ground. Get those legs nice and strong. Just bend that knee, but make sure you can still see the big toes. And you can lift your arms up. Just turn. Look at those fingers. So you've got nice strong arms, strong legs. Some deep breaths here. Feeling strong. Lifting that body up nice and straight. Don't sag down. Stand up straight. And then rest your arm. Bring the other arm over your head, over your ear. And swing back into warrior two. And back hand down, front hand up. Look up. And then back to our warrior two. Nice strong arms, feel the strength, feel the strength in your legs. And now arms down. Turn the toes, hinge at the hips, down we go again. Touching the, the mat, and a wide-legged forward fold. And then walking your hands past one foot, bend that knee, stretch the other leg. And then we go the other way, bend the knee, stretch the leg. And then the other way, 
Bend the knee, stretch the leg. And the other way. Bend the knee, stretch the leg. Come to the center. Just take a moment here. You can have your fingertips on the mat more. Hold your elbows so you're like a rag doll. You decide which one feels good. Fingertips on the mat or hold your elbows. And then just slowly coming up. Nice and slow. Into a star. Bring the arms down nice and slowly. Walk the feet together. And then just take a moment, put your hands on the back of your, your waist. And just look up oh, and breathe. Because we do a lot of forward folding. So just look up at the ceiling nice and gently. And then just coming back. Take a moment just to stand in our mountain pose. So feet are under the knees and knees are under the hips. And then the hips are under the shoulders. Let the shoulders be soft. Wiggle the tongue. Wiggle your jaw. Put a smile on your face. Take away the frown. We're going to get back down onto the ground with our downward facing dog. So get those hands onto the mat or onto blocks. Legs are straight. Arms are straight. Hips are up. Heads down. And stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And slowly and carefully bend the knees. Get them down onto the mat. Take a moment to keep the big toes together. Open up those knees. Let the hips go down. And then let the head go down. And we're in our dog pose. We have a little rest here. We're in our dog pose. Deep breath. Again, nice and soft. Get your body to be soft or folds. And just pushing yourself up nice and gently. And carefully bring those knees together. And carefully swing around and lie on your back. On your back. And we'll do our bridge pose now. So feet are on the feet are on the, the mat. Hands are on the floor as well. And push those hips up. And then just let the hips go down. And just let your your lower back. Flatten on the floor, just let it flatten, and then take a brief breath in and lift those hips again, pushing the feet and the hands into the floor, and then let those hips go down again. Just let the back, your hips flatten against the floor, and just push. Those hips up one more time. Hold it, hold it if you can. Hold those hips up. And then just let those hips go down nice and gently. And then bring those knees up. And you can give yourself a little roll from side to side. And then put one leg down. And one foot up onto the knee and we'll do our reclined pigeon pose so let this knee just let it float away just fall away and put the 
arms on the ground. Let your shoulders be nice and soft. Arms are soft, palms face up. Let your back be flat on the floor. Some slow deep breaths. And you can bring that knee up, maybe a little, give it a hug. And then bring the other knee up, give it a little hug, help the ankle onto the knee, and settle in again. Get your back nice and flat. Shoulder soft, arms out. Arms facing up, so your arms are soft, your shoulders are soft. Just let this knee just float away, fall away from you. Some nice slow deep breaths. Slow deep breaths, relaxing. And bring that knee up and the other knee up. Give yourself a little hug there and a little roll from side to side. And put the feet down and stretch the feet out. The legs are straight. Push the heels away, bring the toes up. Really straighten those. Backs of the legs and then relax. And you can slide one foot up along the straight leg and we'll do our recline tree pose. So one knee is bent, foot is up along the straight leg. Let the bent knee fall to the floor. And again, relax those shoulders, relax the arms, relax the hips here, just relax. Relax and then see if you can just relax even more. Relax the legs and the shoulders, the arms. Really let the knee fall down to the floor, and opening up the hips. And slowly slide that foot straight, that leg straight. Now bend the other knee. Slide the foot up the straight leg. Let that knee fall to the floor. Let this bent leg be soft. The straight leg is soft. Your arms are soft. Your shoulders are lovely and soft and relaxed. Your tongue is nice and relaxed. Take some nice slow deep breaths here. Your whole body relax. When you think it's relaxed, see if you can relax it even more. Relax into the floor. And then straighten that leg. And once more, push those heels away. Bring the toes up so your legs are really tense. Backs of your legs are being stretched. And then relax. Do that again. Push the heels away. Bring the toes towards you. Really straighten, straighten and strong. Tense the legs, and then relax. And you can bring both knees together up. And just take a moment just to feel how flat your hips are against the floor. Your back is against the floor. Those knees together. Drop them to one side, arms go out to a T, and look away from the knees. So knees are going one way, and your nose is going the other way. And again, just relax those shoulders, take some nice slow deep breaths. Slow deep breaths. Right down 
into the belly. Feel the belly moving up and down. You know you've got deep, deep breaths. Bring those knees up, point them to the sky, and then drop them to the other side. Turn your head the other way. So your nose is pointed away from the ears. Arms are still out in a T, palms facing up. Relax the shoulders. Take some deep breaths, keep breathing. Listen slowly and deeply. Feeling the belly going up and down so that the breath, you know the breath is really deep. Slowly bring the knees up. Let's bring those knees right up. Give them a hug. And then roll from side to side. And just put those feet down for a moment. And now keep the knees together. And just bring the feet out wider for just about the width of your hips or out to the side of the mat, but the knees fall together. Keep the knees together and the feet are apart. And just let your back be nice and flat on the floor. This is a really good thing if you have a sore back, if you really want to relax. And let go of any tension in your body. Just lie on the floor like this, but the knees are together and the feet are apart. That way you're not holding the knees up in the air. The knees are, are relaxed. They're leaning against each other. They don't have to do anything. Just fall together. And the feet are apart. Just relax the arms, the shoulders. Take some deep breaths in and out. You could stay here for Shavasana. A lot of people find this is just lovely to do Shavasana. Let's stay right there. Sit in your chair. Just have a nice straight back. Rest your shoulders. Open your chest. Just relax your arms. The palms facing up. Relax your face, your jaw, your tongue. Your eyes close slowly deep and deeply breathe in and out through your nose let that belly go up and down you can feel the breath go right down into the belly Slow the breath down. Let go of thoughts or other things that are bothering you. Just let 
letting your mind focus on your breath. Bring your attention deep inside your body into its center and look for a place that is still quiet and peaceful. Deeply breathe into its center and let your awareness fill it up. Feel how your breath and awareness are feeding this place of inner peace, which is slowly beginning to grow and spread outward. Feel this place of peace inside you grow until it fills your whole body. Feel the peace inside you filling your whole body and spreading out into the world. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And move your head from side to side. And slowly roll over to one side. Push yourself up nice and slowly. You can come up to seated. Everybody's sitting up nice, nicely. Come, Dora. Peace is in me. Peace is in me. Peace is in me. 
in our hearts and we kind of share our love and kindness with each other oh I've got your love and kindness in my heart I will leave it there until I see you again everybody have a lovely Thanksgiving Thank you for coming. Namaste. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Luna. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.